know? Um, yeah. I don't talk and, about myself too much. Yeah, but, humble. You know what I mean? Um, I'm humble too, but, you know, it's look, like... We got a lot of education. We got a lot of experience. We got hey, a lot yeah, of, let's keep it at that. And we got a lot of hours with a lot of clients. Exactly. We put okay. in the ton of, we put in the time, the years, right? And we come from sort of the same family, right? We're not going to say uh, the name of that institution, but, you know, uh, they're up there. So the knowledge is there. Anyway, so part of this series, like, um, I released a, uh, a video probably a couple of weeks ago, and it was a beginner's guide to, um, a beginner's, gu uh, beginner's guide to program design. So right now I'm working on about four programs, one of them being fat loss, all right? So I'm gonna put you on the spot, okay. all right? So I pretty much gave them like the whole gym lingo when it comes to uh, um, like the, how you structure static stretching, dynamic stretching, explosive strength, and then ESD. So um, now we're gonna go into sort of the exercise portion. So I'm gonna give you a case study and let's try to come up with a, a day of training and then I'll shoot that training in another video. How does that sound? Okay, for weight loss? Yeah, for weight loss. So um, let's give you a case study. This guy is non-athletic. He's 28 years old. He's non-athletic. Non-athletic because of injury history or non-athletic because um, so, he didn't play sports? Yeah, he didn't play sports. The last time he worked out was gym class gym, and he just did it just to graduate high school. Okay, got it. And now he's 28 years old. Yeah. He's um, 30 pounds overweight. Okay. Stepping into the gym for the first time. Okay. Right? And um, deeper history, right? I'm going to go super deep with him. Like his most selfish desire is to shed the 30 pounds because he's um, self-conscious yeah. about his weight and he hasn't gotten laid since high school yeah. from one of his homegirls. Yeah. And um, so right now he's trying to lose that 30 pounds within three months or three to six months, but this is his first time in the gym. Yeah. What are we going to be doing? All right, and remember, we're gonna be filming this um, exercise in another video but let's take you through Andy's approach with this uh, gentleman and he doesn't have any injury he does have lower back pain from being sedentary mm -hmm. if that makes sense um, no injuries he does have hypertension because he is sedentary overweight mm -hmm. smokes weed and doesn't move much the weeds not Increasing hypertension. No, it's not. But um, okay. he's just a stoner. This is like his lifestyle. Stoner okay. and video games. Okay. Okay, yeah. right on. Well, I mean, look, first things first, mindset. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, he's not he's not unique. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're not a unique individual. Okay. You hear that? No. Two thirds of the people in the room at the gym right now fit your profile, whether it's mm -hmm. whether it's a detail about getting laid, whether it's a detail about a pound weight range, whether it's a detail about feeling uncomfortable or self conscious. Uh, the prettiest people in the gym feel the exact same way. Mm -hmm. They just may not show it on the outside because maybe they look better than you think you look, yeah? Yeah. But they're chasing the same exact thing, so. Exactly. Okay, that's the first thing. You gotta come in with a mindset that the goals you're trying to reach are achievable, because they are. Which is, yeah. If your mind is set right. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. Now, okay, lower back pain, sure, okay, on the topic of weight loss, we need to do some you know, a little bit of corrective exercise and maybe some movement prep to offset that back pain. Uh, different video, different conversation. Yeah. But nuts and bolts, okay? If you're not athletic and you don't have a foundation for movement patterns, right? We call that training age, all right? And that would be based on years of exercise history. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we don't need to choose complicated exercises. We just need to choose exercises that you can do with a relatively strong amount of intensity. What do I mean? Uh, you can do them at a pace in which uh, it might be hard for you to talk because you're out of breath. Okay, so that could be anything from just literally a step up on a, on a 12 inch box, mm -hmm. okay, that you do continuously for a minute. It doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be complicated exercises, yeah. but what we wanna do is, we wanna bring your heart rate up to a submaximal range, all right, and that's gonna be based on your heart rate, especially if you're sedentary, so 220 minus your age, and we'll shoot for something around maybe, okay, 40, 50% if you're totally deconditioned, and we'll strive to get you at 60% of that 220 minus your age, 60% of that heart rate max. Mm -hmm. And then we want to sustain that heart rate. Okay. So get a heart rate monitor. Bang, All get, right. a, heart rate get monitor. a heart rate monitor. I'll link that down below. So yeah, um, yeah. yeah. 
polar super like a chest strap i prefer as opposed to like the wrist stuff you know it's like more of an accurate reading yeah um yeah it doesn't but have to be expensive your approach would you want to do more of a timed um so you could get more reps in and more volume as opposed to repetitions where you want to have him do like a minute bouts and stuff like that yeah okay yeah okay good question so volume for sure whatever, volume whatever. yo we got the boss man popping in here too oh God. <laughs> yeah sustain sustainable movement okay mm -hmm. sustainable movement whether it's based on reps whether it's based on time but ultimately it's about creating volume you mm -hmm. need to continuously move at the end of the day okay we're chasing a little bit of hypertrophy so we can build some muscle mass so we can help influence your ratio and your body fat composition but also we need to burn some calories because what do you have on your body if you're 30 pounds overweight mm -hmm. you have a ton of excess calories 3500 yeah. calories roughly is going to equal about a pound so if we can start creating caloric deficits not only through your nutrition but through your exercise you're going to enhance your weight loss okay so we need to get you moving mm -hmm. and we need to keep you moving get right? you moving keep you moving exactly. that's right we don't need to pick up the heaviest thing in the room and fatigue you out so you have mm -hmm. to rest for long periods of time yeah so i want to get you moving and keep you moving yeah my approach like to start is to get them sweating on the um on the uh treadmill right about eight to ten minutes like slowly raising the um the, the miles per hour and probably just incline one to two just to get their heart rate up so that they can like start to get their joints nice and lubricated and then starting to sweat then we just come on and get like a uh, quick little stretch just to make sure that those joints and then we have like a full range of motion and where we agree to like start with about two to three exercises in a circuit with um like one minute on 30 second rest or yeah i mean really really you could pick any any volume of of exercises whether it's two exercises or three exercises mm -hmm. or four exercises but i think the key point there is that uh you can replicate the exercise over and over and over again so mm -hmm. like with a treadmill walk really really great way to get a sweat going okay but it's also something you can continue to use within the workout mm -hmm. okay so Again, you don't have to have a lot of athleticism to step up on a box. You don't have to have a lot of athleticism, okay, to get down on the ground and stand back up. That gets people hot <laughs> That and gets sweaty. the heart rate up. Okay. Like, let's like lay it on the ground and then literally standing, standing up. Just standing back up. Do that as much time right. as you can don't within like a minute yeah, and you're going to be soaked. Don't have to have a lot of athleticism to do something like a med ball slam or, mm -hmm. or some kind of med ball toss. Yeah. Okay, you don't have to have a lot of athleticism to carry something that's a little bit heavy or push something that's a little bit heavy. Mm -hmm. So if your gym's got the option for a sled push or pull, or even if they got kettlebells, you can tie a rope to it and drag that kettlebell around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Big Anything run. like that's gonna work Anything. out well. Anything, yeah. So, like this is a, just a quick little pep talk. So we're talking to um, one of the homies over here. We're giving him a quick little pep talk with, <laughs> with like trying to get him in the gym and actually getting him going. So, um, Per this discussion, in the next video, what I'm gonna do is like give them like a sort of a quick little demo, easy for them to be able to do. Yeah. Right? Now, where can they find you, Andy? So I got an Instagram handle, it's uh, uh, at Andy Drew Jackson, and uh, currently building out my Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you can follow me in there, it's just Andrew Jackson. Uh, I got a second Facebook page called Mountain Fitness Expeditions and really what my goal there is to you know encourage people to get outside of their gym space get outside of their house get outside of their city get outside into a space that's less stressful mm -hmm. uh, and also maybe in a place that if you are a little bit self-conscious and you're a little intimidated to be in a gym there aren't a lot of people walking around in the woods on a trail all right you can go out there and you can get your fitness in yeah all right a couple rocks you can carry step up <laughs> right you can do some lunges yeah. right you can do some step ups out there mm -hmm. okay load up a pack all right, got a snack in there and a little bit of water. Okay, that's load. All right, that's a little bit of work. All right, and again, we're talking about some kind of a low intensity, sustainable activity. Yeah. All right, coming to the gym, trying to walk three miles on a treadmill, it may not go so well mentally. Yeah. Yeah. Be but in if, nature. But if you pick a waterfall yeah. that's a mile and a half down a trail and you walk to that waterfall. Like the elements is so like like okay you know the elements alone is just the workout itself because it's not like linear it's just like up and down up and down and that's gonna be your heart rate as well that's right so like links in the wild you know that's a series that these guys do as well 
yeah. get you outdoors. And then, of course, this guy's a mountain man, so, you know, I listen to his advice and sort of things like that. So he's going to give me the, um, the links to his page, and then I will forward you into uh, so you can figure out what works best for you. All right? Thank you guys for watching. And, of course, you can also find him at links. All right? Okay, Boston. And, yeah. Park Meantime, Plaza. <laughs> Park Plaza. Hotel. It's one of the best, well, the best gym in Boston right now. All right? So come through, check them out. Peace. <laughs>